Mildy, off the grid down under, South West Western Australia. Beautiful summer's day, not a cloud in the sky. You get that down here in South West Western Australia in the middle of summer. Doesn't rain too often. And that's, uh, that's what makes it perfect for the ram bird. Now, I'll just give you a run through. I've done a bit of a system enhancement here. I've jagged it today. I think we'll go with it from now on. We've been flat out ramming for the last couple of days. In the last video with the, with the ring around the sun or the clouds, the swollen clouds in that ring, I noticed my hair was getting a bit long. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a story behind the hair. If you want to hear the story, in the comments. Um, let me know if you want to hear the story, I'll tell someone the story. Uh, yeah, so we've been uh, ramming for the last couple of days. Just give you a run through what we've done. Uh, we've done this wall after that bit of dud wall. Uh, we didn't forget the things on this wall. Uh, got a power point in there. This is the kitchen area here. And uh, a little bit of over ramming if you notice. We might be able to get a power point on there, but it's sort of buckled in there a bit. So I don't ram as hard when I'm putting power points in. And over here, did this wall. That's bigger than those walls. I sort of thought, again, a little bit of complacency, thinking it's not going to be one of them big ones. And to be honest, that was a real hard day. That that nothing sort of was one of them days, and it went for 11 hours that day. Um, I didn't ram the power point so hard, and I uh, got a bit of a light switch in there. So. Yeah, if you have a look at the power point there, and then have a look where the conduit comes out the top, <laughs> got a bit of an arc, I hope the wire goes down there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we did that one the other day, and Colin, Colin spat the chewy a bit. Um, what happened, we were ramming away, oh, we weren't ramming actually, we were over watering or filling buckets for the for the top of that one and Colin started making a horrendous noise so we ran over um, yeah spat the, the nut come off and the uh, the key come out and it, it was rubbing against against this making a horrible noise so I thought that might have we might have had a few problems but yeah no the, the mix at the top was quite wet we kept wetting it and it wasn't ramming that good up there, so we needed a bit of a spell for it to dry a little bit. And Colin gave us that spell. Thank you, Colin. Now, my little enhancement is, um, we've got these big, these big um, Z bars. These big Z bars here. We use those, and, and what we do is we get these wedges. We've got these wedges here, and uh, normally, uh, you put a put a wedge in here in here to stop the stop the uh, the shutter from bowing or moving. We've got them screws at the bottom to stop it. And normally, if there's a bit too big a gap, we put a bit of wood in there to back in it just to take up the slack. But as you can see, the gap's a bit wide there. So um, yeah, this morning when we were Put the wedges in, I'm like, oh no, what do I do? Um, get another bit of wood and chock it in there, another bit of wood. Um, and this one's the same. So, uh, yeah, although I've got one bit of wood in that one, that one, that's how we normally do it. But I kind of thought, oh, how am I going to do it? Then I thought, oh, why don't we just tech screw it to the, to the shutter? So that's my enhancement, I just tech screwed it all the way up um, yeah and I think that might keep it locked in better than the uh, the wedges because the wedges fall and move out and shake and it's not so tight we got the Z bars because there's so much pressure on the thing that on those little uh, those little uh, threaded rods they start bending even the Z bars can bend but I don't think that's moved at all on those uh, on those tech screws so I think uh, I'll be going with that from now on it's a little I don't know if it's longer or shorter just whacking a couple of them in and normally when we're going up 
um, we we normally to hold we get one board in um, you know from from about three actually we've got nothing to hold it up so we ram a tech screw in there to hold it and then come across to the other side and then put the other board up and then start feeding the bar through um, yeah and and that's what we normally do put one in one side just to hold it while we get the bars in um, but now I might go the, the other way got a bit of a light up there I'll put a screw in and hopefully it turns out better than the other side but in here we've got the candle the I put the candle uh, hole in there and and this time to try and get it a bit more centered you can see I missed the bars there didn't put the bars in in that that thing to put the candle thing in the center and I'm not sure if you can see it but those LVL beams have bowed out a little bit or is it significant you can see the bow I can see a bow in that uh, wall so I don't know I might have to work out and at least get one in there but um, and you can see it's it's bowed out and moved from here you see it's moved off here so it's it's bowing out and uh, and uh, yeah the force is unbelievable to be honest rammed earth yeah Daisy packs a fair punch there's Daisy um, Daisy the dancing lady uh, you dance with Daisy and she rattles your soul old Daisy and she weighs about 35 kilos swinging around on that all day keeps you pretty fit now with the weather um, spring was cool and mild and it was all good um, then all of a sudden you know summer was here wasn't too bad Then all of a sudden it just sort of hits well, it's getting close to the middle of summer and everything's parched and dried out although we're doing quite well with the water we only just start to use all the water now so see how we go the end of summer um, yeah so that's it the enhancement on the uh, on the rammed earth I don't think anybody will use my system but it's a fantastic system and simple because it's all wood you just take screw stuff together yeah so that's it no ring around the sun today it's a clear beautiful hot sunny day we're we're looking at a 35 degree of tomorrow so what we're attempting to do to be honest is uh, crank along a bit so we're going to attempt we've got a little 600 wall to do here setting that up and what we're going to do the plan is to pull that down today set that up there and ram that tomorrow first time we've done um, two rams in a row in a, you know one after the other but that's a pretty small wall that one we had that that's all shoveled that's a meter wide we had all that shoveled and done by 10 o'clock a little bit before 10 actually probably called to 10 started about six um, so yeah that's and that's cooking all day so that should be right to pull down we're going to pull that down set this little one up and ram, because it's a little one we'll ram that that tomorrow um, just something because it got a bit after that hard day I was a bit knackered 11 hours um, and you get to the top and you're up there around that them high scaffolds you got to take it easy but I'm not sure if you can see I don't know if the line's going down to there properly I might have to grind a bit off that corner or something a bit hard you know I just do it all by eye you can see that side's a little bit wonky as well it's not taking any weight or, or bearing anything up there but it's just I'm trying to raise it a little bit so the rafters at least meet it um, and there's not a huge gap you know from the rafters anyway that's about it for today just a quick video on my little enhancement so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe I don't think everyone's sharing my video and subscribing but uh, yeah have a great day until the next video we'll catch you